yes, yes, we're back with a bang. So meet Waz and Nam again. We're back with their hustling and bustling, comedy for all, challenges and much more. This time we'll see how they take up the mantle with a number of exciting challenges. It's the Waz and Nav show. Back for more, but this time in isolation. Another new day, and Nav is in the zone with his morning workout. Waz looks slightly confused. exercise we're going to do is split leg jumps. So what we're going to be doing is sort of coming down to your lunge. Now everything all right, bro? Legs, okay? Exercising, bro. Are you, are you okay? I'm exercising, bro. Listen, you don't I don't even think it's halal to be... You don't want to hit well, against the floor, okay? Bro, listen, you don't Why are your pants so tight? My pants ain't tight, bro. You should have seen, bro, how tight these pants were a few months ago, bro. You know how much weight I've put on, bro? But you look like you're having an asthma attack. Listen, okay. grab me some water. Water, bro, you look like you need rukia. Bro, just send me the water, bro. Salafon Mufti Mink, bro, are you send okay? Send me the water, bro. Where's your doctor's number? Listen, Nav. Nav, it's gonna be okay, man. Listen. It's gonna be okay, don't worry. Send me some water. Bro, you don't know how much weight I've put on and lost in this past couple of months, bro. you bro. look like you've lost your mind. I wake up. I thought you were possessed by a jinn, bro. Bro, I was doing my warm-up, bro. That was I, I almost started reading Ayatul Kursi and blowing on you. Bro, that was just a warm-up. This ain't no warm-up, bro. You want to do exercise? Look, I've got a friend, yeah? And he'll show you how to properly exercise. You want to do a workout? I'm going to get you a professional. You know what? You hold on. Right there, I'm going to get you somebody right Nothing now. too intense, you know, bro. I got you, bro. I'm going to hook you up. Habib time, bro. Time for another guest appearance. Brother Farouk McDermott joins our dynamic duo with some much needed fitness and healthy eating tips. Asalaamu Alaikum, bro. <laughs> oh! Walaikum Asalaam wa Rahmatullah. How are you, brothers? You good, yeah? We're good, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. We were doing some exercise, and uh, this one over here wants to know about eating healthy, about a bit of bodybuilding, about a bit of keeping fit. And I thought, who better to talk to than my boy Farouk? That's a good. That's a good option you went for there, bro. I've built a body that no man could ever imagine coming close to. Marshall, so, that's evident, bro. Bro. you look like a coke bottle, like a three-liter one. These are <laughs> the health wasps. Okay, they are uh, low in. They're low in uh, health, so they're really good for you. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Help you. <laughs> this is your guy. <laughs> this is my guy. This Trust me. Guy. Trust me on this. He knows what he's talking about. Look at him, for God's sake. Just look at him. You could bro, be I'm like this, that one yeah, day, Nav. Anyway, bro, I mean, so, sorry about this one. He, he, he doesn't quite <laughs> get it. I caught him in the morning doing some really questionable stretches in some even more questionable tight, tight pants, yeah? And it was a, a sight for sore eyes in the morning. So we've got to teach Are him a sure thing or two. But first, he doesn't believe that you're my fitness guru. So just tell him a little bit about your credentials. Okay. Um, well, I've been lifting for many years. <laughs> uh, I've lifted all sorts of meats. I can do, I'm good with lamb, really good with beef. Yeah. Uh, some say I'm a pro with desserts as well. I can lift desserts too. Uh, so you, I think you came to the right place. I'll show <laughs> you the way where you can have the body that you want without the effort behind it okay and that's my secret all right so uh, you came to the right place boys yeah i'm, I'm gonna show you the right way mashallah mashallah that's it i think he's feeling uh, uh, a bit more confident now so what have you been doing to keep fit um i've been doing it up and down the stairs in the house uh when i need to make tea or when i need to go down and make some food i go up and down the stairs <laughs> normally once because you don't want to overexert yourself that's a lot of the true, problem people have. True, true. They, Gotta be body, careful. Yeah, they, they put their body through so much stress by making it work really hard that their knees stop working properly. They end up with a bad back, with a bad elbow. With my regime... Okay, well, you don't you live in a flat and you got one floor? Like, what are you on about up and down the stairs? Uh, well, we've got, um, we've got some stairs. Uh, unfortunately, I made the mistake of choosing to have the bedroom upstairs. 
So I had to go up there if I wanted to go sleep. If I could rearrange things, I'd have the bedroom near the front door, that way minimalizing any sort of danger to the body that I've created yeah. and damaging it, you know, running around. Fantastic. Will you look at that? I think that's a face of disbelief. I don't think Nav is buying this at all. <laughs> and this whole fitness journey, what started it? What inspired you to inspire other people? Um, I think really it's self-awareness. Uh, you know, I'm aware of what I've achieved. And uh, I think it's about time that I've shared my secrets. Um, a lot of people, they grimace when they see my form. Uh, which is a natural reaction because <laughs> it's something they're not familiar with. Yeah. And that's what I'm here to do is to, to, to create familiarity with my, um, with, with my condition. You know? Okay. So if, should... if, if somebody started now and worked really hard at it, how long would it take before they can get to your level? It depends. Um, if you've got a lot of butter, a uh, lot of salt, sodium high sodium diet high fat diet um you could probably achieve this within a few months um if you live near to a takeaway it would really help that would that would boost your chances of achieving this what i've created um within a few months i think these pieces of advice sound spurious i think he's recommending a full english breakfast after every meal and is there any particular food any particular diet that you'd recommend, like, I know it must be tough and it, it, it's going to take a lot to stick to it. So uh, yeah. what, what, type, what type of foods are you eating? Well, I would say vegetables, yeah. Starting with potato, preferably cut thin and fried. That's, <laughs> that's the number one option. <laughs> it's a high vegetation diet. Yeah. High, um, it's, we have a lot of dairy, so cheese is a big yes. Yeah. Uh, stay away from your high in vitamins food you know like your your fruits they're very acidic they can cause problems in yeah, the stomach if you're yeah. over fruits no. so you don't want to have indigestion just trust me on this trust me on this just listen take so, notes yeah, I, I don't want to be interrupted this is valuable stuff you know so yeah. uh the other thing you want to avoid as well is um a lot of oh, i mean too many sort of uh any, anything to do with a numbers b numbers you know i'm talking about your vitamin a vitamin b uh, you want to avoid them, your vitamin E's. E numbers is good. Just E, that's good. So anything with E numbers, anything with uh, dyes that you can't understand what they're made from, those are good to put into your body. Um, anything dripping with fat, that's another one. Because I'll tell you what that does. It allows the food to go down easy into the stomach, therefore reducing the amount of effort needed to swallow. <laughs> you pay this guy. You pay this guy for one-to-one -one sessions. Look, just watch the results. Yeah, mm -hmm. just watch the results. Okay, so Thanks. tell us a little bit about, because I don't think that he's got it. What type of determination, commitment does it take to, to stick to your regime? How, like, how do you do it? How do you wake up every morning and just stick to it the way that you do? To be honest, it's about letting go. Yes. Letting go of what people think about you. Letting go of the pressures of society. Uh, because sometimes they, they they want you to follow a norm yeah but in order to be successful in this field you have to break that norm yeah. and you have to you have to let go yeah. let go of that niggling voice telling you to to He's mind let himself go. In... i'll give you an example so maybe your your body will uh, have an effect when you eat so much fatty foods and it's normal when you first enter into a diet like this uh, you'll feel bloated You'll feel full very quickly. What you've got to do is keep eating. That's, that's, that's the main thing. <laughs> when you feel it coming out of the top, you've got to push it down with what we use. Some people use water. I wouldn't advise that. It's got to be high carbonated, highly sugared drink. Okay. Awesome. Very good. Okay. You got any questions for him now? Bro, like, where did you learn all of this stuff, man? Like, I want to know, like, like, I don't, this, this is the strangest medical advice I've ever received. No, You're nobody try this at home, by the way. Anybody watching, don't try none of this stuff at home. But carry on, sorry, bro. You're not, you're not going to get this from your uh, pediatrician, your GP. You're not going to get it. This is um, an unusual method, a severe method, and an effective method. Fantastic. <laughs> so what's your message uh, to all the 
kids out there that, uh, that are watching this and when they're L older, you know, they want to be big and strong like you? So, um, the main message I have for the children out there who will be watching this uh, nutritional advice show is this is not what to do. <laughs> when you're young, you see chocolate, you see sweets, and you see fatty foods like your burgers, like your chips. When you're younger and you eat it, you sort of feel okay to do so. But as you get older, it gets much more difficult and it takes a, makes a big stress on your body. So what you need to do while you're young is... Focus on what people around you are telling you to do. Sometimes in your own mind, you think, oh, well, I can just sneak some chocolate. I can sneak this. And you become snacky at home, especially. I know I know it's my son. Uh, he runs downstairs for a snack quite often. Try to ignore that, children. If you know there's some sweets there, try to forget about it. And parents, that's something you can do. You know, treats that you have at home, put them in places where the children can't find them. And then when they ask for it, you can monitor it a little bit easier rather than him sneaking off and snacking while hidden. So. The police are monitoring him because he robbed an ice cream van. <laughs> yeah. And uh, did, did it taste good? It did. It did. That was... Uh, it was after, the only time he ran as well, after the ice cream van, first time in his life for everything. So. You know, straight from the machine is the best way to eat ice cream, preferably uh, 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 horizontal. To the machine. <laughs> if people wanted to like find out more about your journey, bro, is there any way we can contact you or tell tell us a, a method of how to avoid you? Have you got a DVD coming out or something? A any what? Sorry, have you got uh, a DVD coming out? Anything like that? What well, uh, exercise DVD? Yeah, yeah. So Hopefully. people can follow along at home. I'm, I'm in discussion with a brother at the moment from a production company to make a uh, show. And I feel like this is sort of an introduction to it. So those of you out there who want to get, uh, not lose fat, we call it get fat fast, not get fit fast, get fat fast. <laughs> what that does is it puts you in such a position bodily that uh, you feel depressed about it and it makes you work it off. So that, that's... that's <laughs> I've, got, the, I've got an influencer ready for you right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's the core aspect Brand of ambassador. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You uh, be so that it's always an improvement afterwards. Yeah. All right. I think I've heard enough. I'm sold. Let's let's take it to practical, and uh, let's give Nav uh, a taste of uh, so get fat quick. This, this is a warm up. Yeah, you got to warm the palms up, right? We're getting up for this. Because yeah? if you've got palms, palms, yeah. picking up a hot chip. You could get Ooh. burned. So you've got to warm them fingers up, yeah? So yeah. we call that. Yeah. The chips. Right, yeah, you get them hands warmed up for the chips, yeah? yeah? Now, another thing you need on chips, right, yeah. is salt and vinegar. If yeah. you ain't having salt and vinegar, you ain't doing it right, yeah? So what you want to get is you want to get, let's call this the vinegar, right? Yeah. So what you've got to do, right? That's it. Bit more, bit more shoulder and elbow. Like that. Right? Get your elbows and get your shoulders involved. That way it works the whole body. Yeah. And then when you feel your heart beating out your chest because you've been doing it for too long, that's when you move on to the salt. And the salt is a little bit more side-to-side -side action. Because the vinegar, you want to chuck it out. But the salt, you want to knock it out. Yeah. So you go like Backward and forward. You've got to get it all over the ships. Maybe you want to do a circle motion. Maybe you, you reverse it a little bit. Yeah. You you go, I look stupid in the morning. Just do it. Trust me. I'm out of breath now. That's how you know you're doing it right. Oh, it's working, yeah. it's working. Yeah. See? I told yeah. you. Yeah. The next one you've got do you to do. You need a break, bro. Do you, do you want a break? Are you all right, yeah? yeah. You want to go get some Can water or anything? Have a break? Is that all right? Can we go for a break on this? Uh, I go, need to have some go, go get a glass of water, bro. No, no, we don't have time. We've got to crack on. I'll tell you what, right? I'll go for my next one, yeah? So we've, we've had the chips. We're done, yeah? What you want to do next is stand up. It's got to go down. You've got to make sure the food goes down. Why do you want it to go down? So you can get more on top. <laughs> that so you want to rub your belly and pat your head. The patting, it knocks it down. It sends it down the body. And the rubbing of the tummy, yeah, gets it moving around, getting it digested so you can get more in there, yeah? And you swip, swap it around. You pat with that and you rub with that, yeah? <laughs> and you want to do that for a good well, few I'm sure minutes. Well, I'm sure school or something, bro. Rubbing the tummy. Patting the head. You've got to do it standing up as well, guys, yeah? So those of you at home, 
when you get to my level, you can do it sitting down. Yeah? yeah. When you get as big as I am, you can do it sitting down. But when you're young and a bit more fit and healthy, you need to stand up and do it, right? Right. Now, the next step you want to do, we call this the, the shift and shake, right? The what, sorry? This is for those... The, the shift and shake. This the shift is for and those shake. Points. This is when you go, show, bro. <laughs> you go to a wedding, right? And there's a lot of food. And you've got to, you've got to make an impression, okay? Yeah, yeah. People have got to see, right? So sometimes after the first round of food, you're feeling sluggish. So what we do is we call it the shift and shake here. Yeah? What you want to do is you want to get up and you want to go like that. It's, some people call it a star jump. I'll call it a shift and shake. What that allows the food to do is to move into places you didn't know you had. <laughs> makes that extra yeah, yeah. Makes, makes that extra room yeah. for another bit of chutney and and a butter yeah? yeah or if you want to slip in a bit of curry you can yeah. do so no problem a roti yeah. on top absolutely why because you've done the shift and shake yeah? yeah shakes the food around it shifts it into areas that you didn't know you had Bro, yeah? so, so do you bother with any like protein or creatine or is it just all chutney um what's what's protein sorry Never mind. Let's let's carry on. Teenage magazine. About, yeah. Protein. Worried Don't about... worry about the protein. Let's carry on. I'm worried about your friend. Stick to okay. I've heard about those milkshakes, uh, but we do the protein-free version. The ours are just dairy. Got it. Got it. Nice. But I'm really worried about him. Next one. Um, something, we call something's this, gonna happen to. Uh, <laughs> sorry. We call this one the uh, the frozen pose. This is dessert only. Right. Okay. What you, it's a one-footed one. So as long as you're on one foot, sometimes when you eat a bit of cold dessert, like an ice cream, it makes you freeze, gives you that brain freeze, yeah? So what you want to do is get on one leg and strike a pose. I want to see you both do it now because I want to make sure that the information I'm giving you is sinking in. So I want you both to get up and to strike a pose on one foot. Right, so now you guys are up. What you've got to do is it's called, it's called the frozen pose or the posen or the frozen, whatever you want to call it, yeah? Yeah. So imagine you, you, it's a nice, hot, sunny day and you've eaten a big scoop of ice cream and it's hit that spot and it's frozen, yeah, yeah? But you're on one leg and you've got to hold that and whoever holds it the longest is the winner. Right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, eat. Not bad, not bad. Now, the idea here, guys, yeah, is to, to, to tent those muscles in your leg and your body and hold them, yeah? As if they're frozen solid from that delicious, tasty, slushy ice cream. Mm, 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 my favourite. Mm, mm. Vanilla, oh, with sauce on it, and it's got all the little sprinkles on it. And Anyway, so that He's gone. is called the frozen pose. So you won. I've won. Hey, bro, See, I'm telling you, man, you're, my, you're my top student. That's man. it. I learned it from my guru. I couldn't have, I wouldn't have done it without you. Evidently. There you go. <laughs> this is all from the barakah of my, my guru. That's the, That's the physique we're after, guys. Yeah. Yes, now I'll up. show you a true a true physique. There you go. Yeah. Wow. I've even got the combat songs on. You know. One day, inshallah. Prepared. One day, inshallah. I'll get there. <laughs> I'll get there. So for that, I'm gonna say jazakallah khair. Hopefully, this tongue-in-cheek representation of um. Uh, fitness is good enough for you. Are you pleased with my assessment? Yeah, bro. Thanks for nothing. Barakallah, Fik, yeah, bro. Thanks for nothing, bro. I'm going to keep working hard at it. And inshallah, one day, my guru, I'm going to be just like you. Inshallah. Ta'ala. Thanks bro. for your time, bro. Come true. Yeah, waste of time, bro. Thank you. Yeah, cheers, bro. What I get to? I told you. I told you. Told you, bro. Us. Told yeah. you. You're going to get diabetes. You're going to get Listen, all sorts of diseases. You bro. stick to that. And one day, you can look just like that as well. And after a wonderful technical explanation by Brother Farouk, Waz heads off for a portion of chips. Idiot. Don't know nothing about exercise, or nothing about keeping fit. And Nav restarts his own workout regime, taking absolutely no heed of the advice from Brother Farouk. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.